This is going to be my client's hair before and check out that gorgeous after. What's up beauties? Welcome back to my channel, Holy Hair, where I create tutorials for hairstylists to up their game behind the chair. This is her natural hair before. As you can see, she has a lot of gray coming in and we are going to be blending that gray with highlights. So here's her hair after. It is so gorgeous, so low maintenance. This is an every 12 week service compared to your typical client that would come in every four weeks for a root touch up. So if you're interested in offering this service to your clients, stay tuned for this entire video because there's some awesome tips. Let's go, let's be, let's hit, let's go. Holy hit, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm thinking since we are using the highlights to camouflage the gray, and you're about, I would say, 30% gray on top and only about 10% gray in the back. So what I would say we do is we'll keep the highlights baby fine so that they'll match the gray that you have coming in since you like to go a little bit longer in between highlight services. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're not gonna give you something that's gonna be a ton yeah. of upkeep. Okay. So I'll go through, I'll do the baby lights to camouflage the gray. And then what I think I'll do as well is I will just tip out some of the ends, which just means I'm just gonna brighten up the ends just a little bit because like you said, it does get a little bit brassy after a while and we haven't gone super light. And since you kind of want yeah. to be overall maybe just a little bit lighter, yeah. I'll just kind of tip out some of your ends and we'll do it in a healthy way so that you do not have any breakage or anything like that. And so we'll take off about an inch and a half and then do a little face frame layers just okay. to give you a little something around your face. So for her formula, I have mixed up in this bowl, I have Schwarzkopf Blonde Me, and then I mixed the 20 and 40 volume because I am out of 30, so it makes a 30 volume. And then in this bowl, I have this for her tipped out ends. This is going to be Schwarzkopf Blonde Me with seven volume because we're not trying to lift a whole lot and we want that to be super gentle on her ends. So this formula is going to be for her regrowth and the reason why I'm using 30 volume is because we're going through coarse gray hair and so it takes a little more volume to be able to create that lift. I am going to be using the K18 today. This is the first time that I'm using this product. If you have used this product before, let me know in the comments what you think. I normally use Olaplex in all of my formulas, but I'm trying something new because why not? This is supposedly the new Olaplex, quote unquote. <laughs> Don't leave me hate mail, but that's what I've heard. So their claim to fame is it takes you back to being a virgin. What you do is you actually spray this in the hair, this is the mist, and you spray this in before the chemical service. So I'm gonna be misting this in her hair, combing it through, and then that's going to give us the treatment when we color. And then what I'm gonna do after is you rinse out everything, shampoo, do not condition, towel dry, we're probably gonna do this after we tone. Um, and then you let this sit on for just four minutes and then style as usual. I'm gonna go ahead and mist this throughout her hair. And I'm gonna focus mainly on the outer layer of her hair because that's what gets the most damage. All right, just close your eyes real quick. And then we're just combing this through, giving a general mist. I meant to say generous mist, but I said general. <laughs> So for her sectioning, we are going to be doing a partial highlight on her, but I'm also going to be doing some underneath pieces since she wears her hair up in a ponytail a lot. So I have my mohawk section going, then I'm gonna have her two sections on the sides. I'm just gonna be tackling the hairline. I'm just probably gonna do two foils on each section here. 
So we've got the whole back of her hair done. Like I said, I did six foils down along her hairline and then I just brick layered um, the crown area of the back of her head there. Going on to the sides of her hair, like I said, we want to help blend her hairline here. So see how she has a lot of gray coming in around her hairline? We wanna blend that. So I'm going to take really fine sections around here and I'm going to be doing her baby lights here. So I'm just gonna take some really fine pieces around her hairline. And this is how I'm gonna start this section. I'm not going to do the entire section like this, but just around her hairline, I'm gonna be doing these baby fine foils so that we blend in her natural gray coverage with these baby lights. We want to try to mimic what her hair is doing naturally with the gray hair, with the highlights that we're doing. So that's why we're taking these really, really fine baby foils. So I'm gonna be very careful with folding my foils because we don't want to have any kind of slippage. And what you can do also is with the flap of the foil, you can kind of take it from the back and just pull it upwards a little bit to tighten that edge there when you are folding the foil. So I'm gonna do two back-to-back -back foils just like that, super baby fine, so that when she pulls her hair up, it's going to look really natural. We're not gonna have any harsh lines and she's gonna have that brightness around her face. So as you can see, there's just a little bit of hair left in between behind her next foil. And then as I go in to approach the rest of this section, I'm going to be leaving out a little more hair in between each foil, but I'm still gonna be taking baby fine pieces when we're doing these highlights. Coming on to the next section, I'm gonna take a little bit bigger of a section here. And I'm still going at a diagonal, but not as diagonal. So we're pivoting a little bit, and that's how I'm gonna do the rest of this section, is I'm gonna pivot, 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 as I go up her hair, taking baby fine pieces. It's Paul. If it's Paul. 
So I've done the same placement and technique on both of her sides and we're coming into the mohawk section of her hair. I'm taking about fourth of an inch sections here and I'm gonna be taking fine weaves. I'm weaving the top section because that's gonna give her a really natural grow out, although we are doing a brighter pop of blonde up here. It's gonna be more natural because we are taking finer sections. So this is gonna be the section that I'm actually highlighting. And so I'm gonna come in with my foil, lock it in, and then we're just going to paint the new growth here, take it all the way up to the root, and feather it down where needed. And then if there's any pieces that are darker all the way to the ends, we're gonna bring those up and add them into our highlight. And when I'm applying my lightener, I'm not applying this too thick. I'm just going to be fully saturating, but giving an overall thin layer of coverage and that's what's gonna make sure that your lightener is not swelling. I know that a lot of people have issues with Blonde Me Lightener swelling, but I do not have that issue because if you properly saturate, you shouldn't have that issue and also properly mix. I have a video that gives you all the tips on how to not get swelling or bleeding that I will link right here. If you wanna go watch that video, it has tons of great tips lots of details. So go check that out if you are getting any kind of swelling or bleeding with the lightener that you're using. So I'm gonna be doing this pattern all along her mohawk section. We're gonna give her a really pretty nice blonde pop and I can't wait for you guys to see her final result. So stay tuned. So after I finished all of her foils, I went into doing her tipped out ends and I did some instruction for this step, but I didn't want this video to be so long, so I made this into a separate video. I will link it down in the description box or I will link it up in the corner so you can go check that out if you want to learn how to tip out somebody's ends. Good. It looks so good. So good. Tipped out ends look amazing. So for her normal formula that we do with her toner, we usually tone her with a level eight, but today we're gonna be going a level nine. We're gonna bump it up because she wants to be a little bit lighter, but we're not gonna go too crazy. I do recommend always rinsing the hair first, assessing the situation before you mix your toner formula. Never mix your toner, even if you think you know what you wanna mix, never mix that before you've actually seen the hair rinsed because there will always be something that you're like, oh shoot. You wanna make sure that you are rinsing everything, assessing the situation, and then mixing your formula. So I'm gonna pull her foils, I'm gonna get her all rinsed, and then I'm gonna figure out what we wanna do for her toner. Obviously, I know I wanna be a level nine, but we'll see exactly what I wanna mix after she's all rinsed. parts 9VG and 9NB. She lifted really, really well, so we just want to enhance those tones that we already have going on and add her in a little bit of warmth while still keeping everything overall cool. This is a really good formula for just your like basic highlighted 
client who has a really dark base because a level nine is going to still give you that brightness but not be super platinum blonde. I got her formula all mixed up. I applied that root to end all over her hair and let her sit with a cap for 20 minutes. And then we rinsed, shampooed, towel dried, and then applied this K18 leave-in treatment. So I am still trying this out. This is the first time I'm using it, so I'm gonna try it out on a few clients and myself and let you guys know in about a month or so how it's going. And if we've noticed any like really great results so you just apply this from root to end on your client's hair let it sit for four minutes before you continue on to cutting blow drying and all of that so then we got her all styled and look at this after her hair looks so amazing i am obsessed with this color i'm obsessed with this tone it is just so pretty you would never know she has natural gray coming in like it's just the perfectly blended gray and it just looks like highlights so this is such a great option for your clients that are like every four week root touch-ups there's a little bit of a transition period but i have done it many times and clients love it so let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and i will see you beauties in the next one thanks for watching let's go let's me let's hit let's go